Hello guys, how's going? Uh, today I'm going to demonstrate how you can use a external SQL client interface to send queries to Analytic DB for Postgres that is available on Alibaba Cloud. In short, uh, ADB for PG is a online processing data warehouse uh, hosted service on the Alibaba Cloud. And the core, the kernel is based on the open source Greenplum database. So this provides the online uh, exploration functionality for users to quickly get the insights out of their data so they can issue interactive queries and they can you know, interactively uh, get the insights. So uh, I'll cut it short and uh, just kind of dive into the tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna demonstrate how you can use an external client. So for example, in this case, I'm gonna go to my console and take a look at the instances I have. This is my Alibaba Cloud account, and these are the products uh, that is owned by myself. I'm gonna look for ADB for PG. You open that up and you can see a list of ADB instances under this account, right? We have this one particular uh, instance that is using a pay-as-you-go model, right? These two clusters, uh, I own those clusters, but for that one, for this first one, I don't actually own the cluster, I only pay when I need to run some queries. So let's use that as an example. Open that up and you can see a bunch of uh, public information, right? This is the PG version, how many resources we have, what type of machines, uh, what type of storage SSD, you know, how many gigabyte SSD we have, and that kind of information. Now for our purpose, what I want to do is to uh, open that up, right? I can log into this database and that'll bring up the internal, the built-in SQL interface, right? So uh, I'm gonna use the intranet connection, put it in here, port number 3432, my username, my password, and I can log in. Once I click login, this brings up the DMS interface, right? This is, uh, this is the SQL interface that is provided by default on Alibaba Cloud, right? So I can do all kinds of stuff here. I can write SQL queries. I can check my database. I can check my schema. I can look into the table information and all that, right? Now today I want to show you, instead of using the internal SQL interface, uh, what you also can do. So I just close that and I want to bring up my external SQL client. In this case, I'm going to use uh, the work, the, the SQL workbench. So I'm going to go for sh.sql workbench, sh, bring that up, right? And you can feel free to choose um, anything you like, right? Uh, we have a list of compatible SQL clients published in the documentation center. Just identify the one you like and download and quickly connect to ADB. So in this case, let's add a new connection, right? I'll call it um, ADB for PG uh, client. Sorry, typo, client, driver. So uh, I'm gonna double check if I have the, the correct drivers, right? If you look at a different uh, engine, you know, when this is red, this is indicating you don't have the correct jar file. Now, in my case, I have downloaded the Postgres uh, SQL driver, uh, but if you don't have it, feel free to go to the postgres.org website and you can easily grab the latest version. Just make sure you have the driver uh, correctly connected to the client. So click OK, we've got the driver, that looks fine. And uh, I'm gonna configure this URL so that my client can connect to my ADB server. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use my public address, right? So when you have the cluster uh, configured and up and running, you might not have the public address in the first place, but you can easily click. There's a button that says apply for a public uh, IP address, uh, internet address. Just click that and you can quickly get this public address, right? In no, in no time, in a couple of seconds. Should be very trivial step. Once you have it, I'm gonna replace uh, this URL.
Test the schema here is the name of my database, right? So I want to connect to that particular database. And my username is the same test the schema. I've got my password and all the other options. I can use the default options. I don't care about those for now, just uh, for the purpose of the demonstration. So it looks all correct. I'm going to test this connection. Connecting to the database. Oh, the connection failed. Uh, all right, so you know what? You need to add your IP address to the whitelist. You can open the whitelist settings and let's say, I'm just gonna say uh, like all IP, I'll do it 0.0.0.0-0, click OK. So that allows all different external IPs to connect to uh, ADB cluster via JDBC. So once I configure that, let's give it a shot again. Password failed, right? So maybe I was using a different password uh, for test the schema. Let me try this different password. Yep, successful. So I am able to connect to my ADB server successfully. So don't forget to put in the IP address as well as uh, the the public IP address and the, the, the whitelist settings. At this point, I can click OK and I'm able to connect to my database and then browse uh, you know, the list of schemas, different objects, and I can start sending queries and get the results interactively. So, uh, yep, so that is a quick demonstration in terms of how you can use an external SQL client to connect to your ADB cluster hosted on Alibaba Cloud. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned um, as we are going to publish a series of tutorials to demonstrate how you can use ADB uh, from different aspects.